excited to get in there for a second drive after a touchdown. We didn't know if your day was going to be over yeah. after that first series. Yeah, it was nice. You know, uh, obviously we got a short field on that first drive thanks to the defense um, with the turnover. But yeah, it was good to get back out there. Obviously, it, it wasn't exactly what we wanted on that second drive to go three and out like that. But it was good. It was good to get back out there. And your touchdown throw, you had a lot of pressure in your face. Talk us through it. Is that just one of those balls where you know where it needs to go and you're putting it up there? Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I thought it was a great job by Higgy. Just kind of feeling his way around there. That's that's kind of what he, you know he needs to do on that play is just kind of get lost and then show up. So he did a good job of getting back in my vision there and then um, just tried to put enough air under it where he could beat the corner and, and catch it. And um, yeah, I didn't really get to see the catch, but um, yeah, it was a great pl great play by him. Sam, knowing you're going to play a limited series, is it you had the short field and you had a three and out? How tough is it to not maybe get a sustained drive, get a little bit? Yeah, you know, I think for right now, it was just good to get back out there, um, you know, during the preseason. And obviously, we've been working super hard throughout training camp and to be able to actually get in there and, um, you know, to, to get hit a couple times too. Obviously, it's not ideal, but it's good to kind of shake those cobwebs off because you obviously don't get hit during practice. So um, it was good to get back out there, um, you know, get hit a couple times and, and kind of feel that, that pressure of a real game. What's your role after your, your day was over? Like, are you there talking with Peter and Matt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think it's just supporting my teammates. Um, you know, when special teams is out there cheering them on, defense is out there doing the same thing. And, um, you know, when the offense is in, you know, staying glued in. You know, I got an earpiece on the sideline and just staying glued into the to the calls and kind of looking at the defense, see what I would do in those situations. Sam, this is your third OC in three years coming from New York. You had Joe Brady, now Ben McAdoo. What would you say you're at on this unique playbook is right now, this 2020? Yeah, you know, I think. Um, you know, I got a really good grasp on on the playbook, you know, um, especially, you know, coming from OTAs to training camp to now, I feel like I've gradually improved. Um, but you just, you know, for me personally, I just got to keep, you know, staying in the book and, and staying glued into to what we're doing, especially now that we're playing preseason games and not necessarily game planning for preseason games, but understanding kind of what defense we're going against and, and seeing what Coach McAdoo likes to call um, versus certain defenses. It's, it's good to kind of get that feel. Um, not necessarily. I think, um, you know, for me personally, it's, it's really about because, you know, you know, a lot of playbooks in the NFL are, are very similar in terms of scheme. Obviously, there's, there's different ways that play callers call plays and um, different ways that plays can come in and different adjustments that you can make. But for the most part, most plays are very similar. Um, you know, everyone just calls it, um, you know, calls different concepts, different names and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, I think it was just about, you know, getting a feel um, for the offense and, and for the scheme and being able to, to um, you know, just learn it and, and get my feet right. I think that was the biggest thing and biggest adjustment for me coming into this offense was changing my footwork. Um, and I think it's been really smooth so far. When you're in a quarterback competition like this, what does a game like this make you feel about kind of where you stand in it kind of all kinds of team events? I think, you know, we got to look at the tape. Um, you know, for me personally, I think it's just understanding, you know, doing everything that I can um, with every play that I have. And that's really all, you know, I focus on when I'm out there playing. I just focus one play at a time, and, and that's, that's how I got to take it at this point. All right, thank you, Sam. Thanks, guys. Thanks.